All right, welcome back to another episode of Game Crafters. And today we're going to try to be quick about this. We're going to work on getting the achievement pop-up stuff set up. Which hopefully shouldn't take too long, but we'll see what happens. Friggin' Drops trying to make me do several 12 goddamn hours. And I can't do all that. My back is sore and I feel as though I'm probably going to strain something. But you know what? Jokes aren't fucking them. They're going to have to try to find a replacement when I'm out on medical leave. All because they just couldn't figure out a better solution. Ugh, it's so annoying. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Okay, so we're going to be working on more pop-up based stuff. You know, I thought I was going to have it set to where the achievements kind of proc here. But then I realized something. The achievements are their own thing and they have to save in their own little way. What the hell? Why is there a fuzz here, cat? Oh, you're in the litter box. You're not paying attention. Anyways, I gotta get some pop-up stuff done with. <clears throat> so let's see. I need to go over to the map script. I need... What was it again? Events. Right, the events. No. Wait, what, what was it again? Not events. I can't recall. It's been a bit... I think it's... Is it not here? With the pop-ups? Okay, why don't you just tell me where it is then? Oh, wait, is it just a map camera? Well, no, there it... No, it is just a map camera. What the hell am I doing? Alright, um... Edit script, so I don't have to go through the whole process of trying to find it. I thought I had it individual, but I guess, obviously, that wouldn't make any sense. So we have like a total of 16 achievements, I think, right? I gotta double check my numbers here, but I'm pretty sure it's a total of 16. Here I am saying go quickly, but here I am also getting freaking tripped up here. Uh, yeah, save it so that stays hidden for now. <clears throat> achievements, achievements, no, 17 achievements. Technically, with the extra because of 16 and the collect all achievements thingy. <clears throat> okay, good, great. Um, now that we have that in mind, let's go back to the high cliffs real quick. And let's figure this out. So I need to go over to here. <clears throat> I need to get some of this stuff set up. Achievement objects. Unless there's more here that I have to get. It's just the UI stuff. Now I need a region for achievement objects. An end region. I don't know why there's an end if. I don't even know what end if does. Because it doesn't seem like the hashtag things do anything outside of just organization. But that's all because the reason being and I only have used the region so far. Music pop-up, music close, test. So basically, it's kind of the same as this. I think... I don't really know how many achievements you can get set up in one system, one, like, setup. I think four is a good number. Because I'm looking through it, and I can see some potential instances where somebody can go out of their way to get, like, five unlocked at the same time. But who would be insane enough to do that? Well, I don't see a, a problem for me to just go on ahead and do all of this again. <clears throat> um, let's see. I guess because of the way that's set up, how do I want to name this? So A, 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 A. <clears throat> Achieve, mm, achievement. Brains, forgetting how to spell achievement. Achievement pop up and achievement close text. Jesus Christ, cat, what are you doing? I know I've been gone for 12 freaking hours, but try to calm down. All right, let me see. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, why was there five stock points? Uh, hold on. 
How did I do that again? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Christ. Oh, I'm too tired for this, but I gotta get an episode recorded regardless. Um, let me see something real quick. <clears throat> yeah, you're setting up all the detection stuff. You're setting up the stock position stuff. Ah, right, right, of course. That's all the stock points, and then the stock anchors are where it all needs to be. So, in other words, if it's only going to be a case of... Hmm. Five? Then I guess that means I only really need to have... How many stock anchors? Because <clears throat> the stock anchors will also delete themselves at some point. So one, and then one, two for the central area, then one, two for three, and then one for two for the four area, and then one for five? Maybe. I'm going to have to figure that out. But I think I have an idea on how I want to go about doing that. If I need more, it's pretty simple. There we go. Okay, good, great. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Oh, let me also get rid of that, since I don't think I need that anymore. <clears throat> nope, what are you doing? Man, this one has so many game objects. I wonder if there's a way I can have this be its own separate thing and then have the script delete itself once it's finished with all the pop-up stuff. There might be a way to do that. It might help reduce the amount of uh, coding that's in there, even though most of it might not even matter. <clears throat> so, achievement one. Yep, nothing here to have to worry about. Well, let me just do it like this so that I can easily get what I need done with. Oh, wait, right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how much that is, but it's fine. No, you fool. Alright, now this is where we have to use the one. No problem. Do this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> oh wait, that's it's fine. I'll just move this. Actually, I'll just move this right here. <clears throat> there we go. All the achievement pop-ups that can occur here. And it's not even that big of a deal. It's just like a list or something. That's at least the baseline set for now. There's still a lot more that I need to do, but I'm going to try to at the very least set this up quickly. Quickly enough. So I'll use the blockology pop up. Achievement pop up. Achievement pop up will probably be the first one to occur, most likely. <laughs> so let me hide this real quick. Let me show this real quick. Blockology update. We'll call it achievement update. And this one will probably be congratul uh, congratulations. So I'm actually going to write congratulations. You've just unlocked an achievement. Sure, why not? Since that's a pretty big deal. <clears throat> Alright, since there's only that many, I'm going to leave some of these active because who knows what's going to occur with them. <clears throat> well, this is going to be a, a pain if I can't exactly see what this is. So let me just go here. Oh, or not do what I want to do. It's fine. Okay, so here's a good question. So this is not going to be in the same setup as the other one. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's not what I want. One? No. It would probably be 0 0.1, right? Nope. Well, yes, but no. So negative 0 point, not 1, 01, no. 05? Yeah. That's the center. At least I... I want to try to get that to be the center. <clears throat> um, 
probably negative point zero one, right? So center. I mean, I guess technically speaking, that nah, still would be a good idea to do that. Because then that would be two. You know, actually, it's hard to say. Because let's say we created a cube here and made it 0 0.01, or not 0 0.01, 0 0.5. This is where that cube would reside, in the center, right here. <clears throat> That's if it's at that number. If it's at zero, it's all the way up there. The achievement should occur down here and go in a line there and there. So if I could do this and bring this to zero. Oh, wait, hold on. Duplicate it. Control D, bring that to zero. Then that works. But, the problem is, I feel like what it needs to do is negative 25, no, 0, 25. And then this one could be negative 0, 5, or 75. This is just being here as a means to see where all of this is at. Yeah, so there's our two. This stays here at 0 0.5, but this will be zero, full on, full through. <clears throat> and this one can probably be 0 0.01, maybe? Or is it 0 0.1? Or negative 0 0.1, obviously. Because that's there, then it goes up to that one, and then it goes up to this one. <clears throat> Good, great. These still stay here, though. But now we want this to be 0 0.025. We also got to remember that there is a specific order. 0 0.025. Going up off of that. Then what are you supposed to be, I wonder? 0 0.075, so 125? Wait, where are you right now? Negative 0 0.0125. Wait, no. 125. 0 0.125, right. Going in the order of what exactly? Up here first, then here, then there, and then here. So confusing, but it's fine. So you're already set. And you to you to you. So that means I need you to be 0. Point, or 0. 0.25. Do I already have 0. 0.25? Technically I do, actually, but I don't think that's it. Because again, this is off. Oh, what a confusing mess. 0 0.25. Yeah, no, 0 0.5 then. 0 0.05. At least these are in a completely different spot, which makes it easier for me to figure out where the hell these are supposed to be. 0 0.25, which then goes to here. Oh, wait, no, not 25. 0 0.05, you fool. Or not 0, 05. Yes, 0, 05. Brain! Ugh. So here, then goes down to here. Then to here. Unless that one is wrong. But it shouldn't be. Because that's 0 0.05. This is also 0 0.05. So that means you need to be who the hell knows. 
Honestly, who knows? I do, but I don't. 0 0.15. Ugh, I don't know why it has to be like this, but apparently it has to be like this. Okay, good. So there's our stock anchors. We have 11 in total. Do we have 11 here? Jeez, really? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, this one's easy enough. Just go on ahead and make this 9. And then I could just go on ahead and do this. There we go. <clears throat> this means that the achievement things are going to have to be more centralized, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. I don't think, at least. <clears throat> So there's our stock points and there's our anchor points. So now I gotta go over to the main camera. No, no, follower. <clears throat> I think. Save. Did I put this in the right script? Yeah, map camera. Alright, where do I need to go? Not here. Wow, it's actually way further than I expected. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Achievement pop-up, obviously. Close text, obviously. <clears throat> and then there's all the stock points, so one, two, three. I still wish there was an easier way to set this all up, like highlight them all. Oh, hell, maybe that is as easy as that, but I don't know. God damn it, you piece of shit. <clears throat> and that's the problem. If I try to highlight all of that and then I try to select this, it's just not going to allow me to do that. Which is not good. getting harder to see where the hell I'm at here. But I got it, don't you worry. There we go. So there's the stock anchor stuff. I still need the 17 achievement stuff. I feel like that one should be easy enough, though. So I could probably just delete all of these right here. Bring this up to here. Nope. Bring it up to here? Yeah. Well, now this is the part that we actually do need to look up multiple times over. That's going to suck to do, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> I need to bring this up, and I only really need to have the name showing. I don't know if you've seen these names here. All right. Actually, it might be easier if I just went on ahead and did this. Because that's the idea. You basically just see the name of the text, no description. If you want to know more about what that achievement is you've got, just go to the thing. Go to the Achievements tab. This is assuming I spelled all of these correctly, but I feel like I spelled them correctly. White and not quiet. <clears throat> there we go. So how long have we recorded so far? 19, not bad. Da! Where are we on? 9? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> mm hmm. I forgot to press enter again. I thought I had a very specific achievement in here, but no, that was only in Dreams version, which was to complete the main game without dying. 
which is not an easy thing. Well, I mean, it, I mean, I guess it depends. If you're going down the normal path, then maybe it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, this is the one that I think is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. That's why we have multiple different unlocks. First of all, unlocks that occurs like, you know, you complete this one as the last one, which is complete the um, main story. And then that one, which is complete all the levels. And then uh, technically in that case, then this one would unlock in that process. You'll probably, because I, I changed this to a million. I don't know if I showed you this before. But yeah, that's what I changed it to. <clears throat> nope, don't want to go there. I want to go here. To my achievements pop-ups, right over here. I should change this to achievements. Achievement one. And I think this should be pretty easy. I don't need you. Now, the real question is, do I want to have, like, an actual star thing we can use? Because <clears throat> I kind of want to have an actual star thing. Oh. Yeah, that might be a problem. Well, technically, couldn't I just, like, go on ahead, remove, remove, remove... Yeah, now it's just basically an empty object. That works for me. I'm gonna try some. A star. Well, hold on. If I'm really trying to make a star, star. Something I plan on doing for two different things: a star profile thingy. Um, how do I? What did I need to do? Oh, I probably just need to do. Because it's not a prefab right now, so it's not going to do shish. What kind of prefab is this, though? Level icon? Technically not a level icon. But it's the only thing I can really think of, so yeah, I'll make it a level icon. I'll go into... Oh, I'm coming out of the game scene. What the hell? Is that burned into my monitor? Or is that just what the background looks like? Is that burned into my monitor? Nope, it is burned into my monitor. Cool. You can't see it, but I can see the achievements thing there. Oh, well, anyways, it don't matter. Star. Pretty simple what we're doing here. Remove this. We don't need that. Um... All right, now give me, that's a good question. Do I start with materials? Do I start with the wall or something else? Complete pitch black, like what we have been using for most things here. For the most part, at least. Okay, so that's where the star starts, right? I'm going to go on ahead and put this here, so I have that there. I guess, oh god. Yeah, I guess the real question is, what should these stars look like? It's like the Crash Bandicoot stars in uh, Crash Team Racing. Makes me wonder if I should try to expand upon this a bit more, or if I should just let it be going out. Well, technically, if this is what the center is, then I probably should do this differently, shouldn't I? That would mean that the star would have to be out here. Which I guess is fine. And uh, maybe, whoops. Well, actually, let's go into the perspective so I can actually see what I'm making here. Is that too far out? Hard to say, really. Hmm. 
And eh, doesn't seem good enough. That seems pretty good, but I feel like I could do this one slightly different. Somehow. Definitely needs to be like a point or something. But if that's the case, you probably should be out more like this. And as a hey G Force, how's it going? Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Get out of my face. I'm busy. Uh let's see. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Maybe I could like probably try to bring this. And I think that looks better like that. Sure. I'll keep it like that. Oh wait, hold on. Well, yeah, no, hold on a freaking second here, god dang it. Why do it like this when we can do it like this? Two, no, two. And you know what? For the sake of making this easier for me to get these where they need to be moved to without having to mess around with that, I'm doing that. And look at all these pieces here we can just get rid of. And then change out to be as simple as this. Two, move down. Efficiency, my friend. It's vitally important. Especially when you want to try to figure out how to better optimize certain things. And this is the way. That seems to be six, so all I need to really do is just take you, change you to a six, and boom. <clears throat> the rest should be history now. Assuming I forgot something important. Pretty much everything that can be set up is set up. I guess maybe I could just do this. Was that too big? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus Christ. Unless this is the center, because this feels more center-like. <clears throat> That's fine. <clears throat> so this is a seven? Yes, it is. Is this also a seven? No. A five? Yes, but definitely not a seven. Um, <clears throat> five, one, boom. What is that? Uh, Thirteen? Aha! Uh -huh. So I got that right. Then that must mean you're a nine. Good. There's also some that are fours and twos, but I got some that are threes. Technically more than that, but I mean, I guess technically I don't have to do it like that. I just do it like this. It's all going to be melded together regardless, so it doesn't matter. Same thing with this. I think no matter what, this has to be four. I mean, at least in this instance, it's not that bad. All I gotta do is do this, this point 0.5 and then just duplicate, bring this over to here. Two, duplicate. Just grab one of these and we just get a solid one. I do wonder if there is a way I could have two different mesh renders, but it doesn't have the ability to move around. So, well, no, I mean, I guess, no. I'm trying to figure out like what how that would work, but there's no way you can have another mesh render to have like one here and then one over here in the same block. I don't even think I could add another mesh render. All right, I was looking up this. I haven't seen it yet. Mesh rent. Yeah, you could have another mesh render, but why wouldn't I? Let me get rid of that. Okay, so we got our little star here, which we might most likely, definitely, probably going to use for the uh, special star icons that you get. Uh, I don't know, 0 0.1? That's a good question. Jesus! Um... <laughs> I, I didn't want to do that. So because you got to be like 90 or something, bronze direction 90. Oh, that's why. 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Are the others like that, actually? It might be a good idea to check that out. The others share their own little icon, so I guess technically I could just make you one for one instead. And then I just change you to what I need to change you to. 0 0.1 doesn't seem to work, so we'll try 0 0.05. Where are you? Oh, wait, no. Five? I'll do this. What the hell? Oh, I see. Wait, no, hold on. I don't see. Why are you like that? There we go. Go to maximum size. Okay, let's go to scene and let's make this like 0 0.1. Jesus. 0 0.01? 0 0.001? Whatever I need to make this thing as flat as it needs to be. Okay, let's see. So... No, yeah, one can work. It's just this needs to not be that big. Good, great, we've got our stars. But I should probably do it in its own little category, so... Stars. Star. Um, where the hell are you at? So I don't need you to he be here. I need you to be here. So I'm going to go on ahead, grab Master of Fingers. Oh, I guess that means you have to be wide. I'd say that's a good width, right? Covers up a, a lot of the space here, maybe. Well, what's the longest one we have here? Treasure hunting and jungles. Let me do this real quick and just test it so I can have a perfect size. Okay, yeah, that works. Good. All right, revert. Revert, and let's move the stars where they need to be. Okay, I can, well, is that going to work? No. So I still have to do this regardless. Um... doing that. I think you're supposed to be that, right? Technically, can I just make you 0 and just make you 0 0.6? Or does it matter because you're already 0 0.6? So no, you don't need to be that. It should be 0. Not 1. Unless it has to be... Oh yeah, because it's not a small thing. It has to be exact. Well, don't be bottom. There we go. Don't be bottom unless you want to be bottom. Yep. And then you basically are just a negative here. <clears throat> there we are. Okay, not too bad. The achievements is exactly in the middle where it needs to be. <clears throat> Is it zero that we want? No, it's not zero. 0 0.7? Or like one. Yeah, one works too. 0 0.6 and one. But I'd say leave it at 0 0.6 for now so that I may be able to do what needs to be done. So we got our stars up here. I'll leave them on top. Now we're going to make the rest of the achievements. I'm going to bring this to one. This is two, and we basically just do this. There's still a whole lot of, th whoops, don't want to go here. There's still a whole lot of things that I have to do, though, so I might not be able to get it done with today. Because I want to have more than enough time to work on my other thing. The next episode of Heavenly Deadland has to get done with. No matter what, it has to get done. Oh, I should probably do this. Now that I know where it needs to be. Okay, so that's a good solid 80. No problem. I mean, I could just temporarily name them. Which one is this one? Right star. Who knows, it doesn't matter. Left star. I'd say this is just a good thing to do in general. This is the left one, right? Yeah. 
I need to make sure I'm not accidentally putting this in the wrong spot. One. Three. Nope. Three. That's probably what I'm going to do for tonight. If I can get myself some more goddamn time. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect size. Perfect position. I don't even have to move the stars. I'm going to try to at least get the setup done with. I really do need more time, though. It's just annoying how little time I am given. Okay, I'd say the stars can reel it, ring it in a bit. 75? Does that seem like a good number? I would say maybe 77. So it's just enough apart. Okay. Bring that to 1. Go into here. Oh, that one's going to be the biggest one. I don't know how big the stars need to be apart from each other, but let's just go 100. Okay. I could probably make it like 98 or something. I don't even... I'm not even entirely too sure how like far apart I want them to be. I guess it looks good as is. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, wait, you need to not be that. Wait, hold on. You need to be five, you fool. And you need to go back. You need to be six. How am I forgetting these things? They're very simple and easy things to do. Okay, this one's at least shorter. So let's say 60. Okay, 65, nope, 68, about 70. Yeah, 70 works. Make that go back. Make the 7. Well, I'm opening now preemptively, but I'm sure, yep. <clears throat> I had a feeling... Oh wow, that just completely disappeared. It's, it's like it knew what I wanted it to do. Okay, 90? Mmm, 92. Yeah, that seems like a good number. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, I should do this regardless so that that's immediately set up. Alright. Then we got trouble on our Fallout Island. I think it's about an 80. Yep. Gauge the distance. Doobles. Okay. Now I just gotta move this crap back. Open this up. <clears throat> Now this one, I'm not sure exactly what I want it to be. Because that's making, that's assuming you went and got the uh, voice log for that one. The voice log for that one, it seems kind of redundant to have. Well, then again, so is reaching the end of the dead end beach and the other one, which is basically supposed to be... Um, well, maybe there are certain things in achievements in that department that might have very oh no hold on that might have a very specific case scenario. I'll figure it out when time comes. I don't just know that the freaking at the very least the idea that I have in mind, not the execution that because where it's going to take a while to get to there, and I don't feel like trying to test out how that particular level is going to work in general right now when I'm nowhere near the skill level to make such a difficult level, but still possible level. Oh, trust me, there's going to be some pain in the arse levels in this game. What you've seen so far is child's play. 
Although, admittedly, time to panic, it is kind of... Oops, that's the wrong one. It is kind of a... Um, it's almost in the same vein as most of the others, but not fully. Not just yet. It is very stressful. But, uh... Yeah, can't really say much about that right now. You'll see it when I make the level. The level leading you to the voice log. Of the Necrotic Crypts, of course. Seven keys in hand. Sixty. Yeah, it seems about right. Unless that's close to the edge, down by the corner. Now, let's make it 60. 61. Good, great, fantastic. I feel like I'm short a number for some reason. I don't know why. Even though it seems like everything is in order. 13. I know everything's in order. Don't know why my brain is telling me I'm short a number. Knowledge is power. I'm going to have to figure out the logistics on how most of this is going to get unlocked. As for right now, my main focus is to get all of this set and have the thing set for the unlocks. Then I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to have to go about doing some of the unlocks. And then after that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure entirely, but I don't want to take too long on this. I have to get this done with at a healthy pace. And then give myself more than enough time to work on Heavenly Deadlands 3rd episode. 15, 1, you know, I will say the good thing, whoops, that I have set up with this is that there is no need to worry about things being brought into the light. For lack of better words, it makes it so that I don't have to have, uh, set active for these things, so there's less things happening that could lag the game. Something I gotta do for the main menu. If you've seen the main menu, every single thing is set to an update and set active is constantly activated. <clears throat> I don't know why the hell I opened that, but I did. So why I want to try to adjust it to where it only runs it once whenever something occurs to have it change. Because if I do it that way, at the very least, it will still allow things to change, but it'll only change upon you doing something inside of that one particular menu. That's how I plan on going about doing that for both, for all the things that have those, like the music library, the, what do you call it? I'll bring this back. What are you doing? The music library, the blockology, the mapology. That's what I want to try to do, if I can get the goddamn time. I got the voice log scripts all set up and done with, so I got to record those. I want to try to record those first. Whenever I can, who knows when I can with this freaking job, and it's bull. <sighs> I wish I didn't have to worry about it, and I really do. <clears throat> but it's fine. Okay, so there's this setup, which is great. Now that that's set, I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to go to the follower. I'm going to move all of this over. I'm also going to try to get this out a bit more so I can see where what numbers I'm looking at so I don't have to just freaking guess. I don't know why there's not a scroll bit on the bottom, but there is no scroll bit on the bottom, so there's that. <clears throat> at least I got the main... Oh, God, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, you idiot? God fucking damn it. Why did it look like I didn't have it selected? It's fine. Ugh, for crying out loud. 
achievement 12, achievement 13, achievement 14, achievement 15, achievement 16, achievement 17. Now here comes the confusing part of trying to figure out where all these stock points need to go. Honey. If it's anything like the Blockology, it shouldn't be too big of an issue to have it all set to where it needs to be set to. Oh yeah, that's right, don't I need a A stock now? Arg, where are ye be? You had an A stock, right? Did you not have an A stock? Ah, strange. I could have sworn I had the A stock somewhere. Oh, here we are. Pop-up stocks, right. Private int A stock. There we go. Oh, private bool achievement close. Is there anything more here? Also, I'm debating whether or not I want to try to double up the days. Because <clears throat> I feel like I could figure out a way to have two-digit days being shown. Okay, I also want achievement unlocked. Which is basically just the finished jingle. There's more that has to be done here. I'm just getting the basic stuff set up first before I do anything too insane. Okay, so I gotta grab all of this. This is the stock point position. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna change all of these to A. Twelve. Well, this is slightly different, so that makes sense. Stock point one, or all of it needs to be A. I mean, I guess, and I just, just go in, and put A in all of them. I don't know how the hell I double pressed down, but I did. I wonder if that actually works. Yeah, it would be great if it did. Kind of. Now, if I do it like that, it doesn't work. Oh god, what happened? We're fine. Okay, so... Well, yeah, you don't exist, so I gotta figure out what you need to be. So... One is supposed to be the center, right? So that's one. So the two needs two and three. But two and three. Because two is up and three is down. Four, one, five. Right? Is that right? Four, one, five. Zero, zero point oh five, zero point one. Yeah, four, one, five. It's basically just the opposite of that. But it might not be the same. It might not be 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, no, because there it goes to 2. So, definitely not the same. 6, 2, 3, 7. See? Well, it still had the 6, 2, 3, 7. <clears throat> Then that would mean, well, hold on, where were you guys again? Oh, hold on a second, something's off. Wait, do we not need that many stock points? We might not even need that many stock points. Eight, it's the same as the other one, four. Hold on, eight. Doesn't seem right for some reason. 
Yeah, no, no, it's something definitely just an eight, four, one, five, fifteen. Wait, how the fuck did I manage that? It, it, it's fine. Oh, hold on. Turns out I don't need ten. Or eleven. Eight, four, one, five, nine. Eight, four, nope, one, five, nine. Eesh. Okay, I need you to remove those two. Anchor points, then. We only needed nine for the five that we have. Arg, so there are be the stock points. But there's a lot more to this than just that. That I'm going to have to try to figure out to the best of my ability. That's not where I want to go. To the best of my abilities, I'm going to have to try to figure this out. Not now, of course, because we're already kind of going over the time that I need to be going right here. But what we're going to be doing is setting up the sequence for that. Pretty much, so to speak. Once we, you know, go on ahead and do what we need to do. I need to get all the information I need to get set. Hopefully I can do it within one simple day, but who knows what this freaking place is going to be like. So for now, this is what we've got. It's unfortunate, but this is just the freaking life that we have to deal with for now. So anyways, that's all the time I have for today's episode, folks. So thank you all for watching today's episode of Game Crafters. The achievement pop-up should have been done within one episode, but you know, life sucks ass, and that's why we escape into re uh, our own fantasy worlds, because reality sucks. So thank you all for watching today's episode of Game Crafters. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, check out that there playlist, and of course, shoo! Previous episode of Game Crafter right over here, and the most recent episode of Tales of Viseria right over here. Anyways, thank you all for watching, I will see you all in the next episode. Later.